This is 103.5 Jockstrap FM. With your hoe! Right Adam Smith! Smith. Oh, you're not the host. <laughs> Ow! Now, I just came back from a nice anger management. Nice journey to get rid of my anger management. You should die! But at this determined, I have a infection in my ears, been with a diagnosed infection in my brain, so I talk really loud. Now, if you have a problem with this, whatever your name is, we can squash the beef and squash your feet. Now, it's it down. Tell what's today's topic. Okay, so uh, recently we had returned. As in yesterday. As in yesterday. Not even 24 hours ago. Not even 24 hours ago. We About returned 22. from a terrible homecoming game. Right now, I'm supposed to be at a homecoming dance, but you know, lack of girlfriend caused me not to go. And to that, I just gotta say. Bah! Anyway, uh, to get back on topic, today we'll be discussing the Crusader versus Rita game at the Brother Ice Field. Yeah! Crusader! Football. And that's a wrap. Cut the commercial, Frank. The following message is from Osama Bin Laden. But first, a Iraq fun fact. One pubic hair can drive a baby sheep through the desert. Right a few. Okay. This is a commercial yeah, no, with, with no, no rehearsal. rehearsal. And if you don't, you don't like, like it, you can suck it. That was pretty bad. Anyway, <laughs> you need a new way to fly? Try terrorist airlines. We not only fly you to your destination, but we fly you into it. Ah, 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 building destruction, big boom. Your food is ready. Not now, ma'am. Go back to the kitchen and milk my goats where you belong. Meet your goats? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I would like to call Dead me. rabbits. Ah! Hey, you guys, can oh. Yo. Robert Smith. Yeah! Ooh, last person that tried to wake me up got twisted BBQ sauce! I'm sorry, but I'm, uh... What? Now, what were we talking about? We were talking about the, uh, I believe, the Crusader and the Rear game. Crusader football! Oh, and let's not forget... Matez Walker! Matez Walker! One of the greatest football players known to man. In Brother Rice history. Yeah, buddy. So, um, uh, we didn't catch much of the game. Fifteen minutes! Best 15 minutes of my life. Damn diggity. Yeah, we were just sitting there at the rails, narrating the game. You know, uh, probably not allowed on the uh, campus anymore, any other Catholic school campus. Half of the crowd hated us. Half of the crowd loved us. At the end of the day, I still beat the shit of one to two people in each crowd. Good day. Good day. So anyway, out of the, the time we did see of the game, uh, what, what was the score, Robert Smith? Because I was distracted by the, the Matt Cauley cheerleaders who actually, ladies, you really brought down my spirits by doing the same cheers over and over again. You really need to work on some new ones. But those were some cute girls. Indeed. We are grown men. Indeed. Remind you this. We're available. Yes. Now, um... Oh, yeah, school. Well, it was 10 to 7. I don't believe the game started off 10 to 7, but this is where I picked it up from. It was 10 to 7. And the Putang, St. Rita, whatever those things are called, they scored a touchdown and made it 14 I had just discovered at this point in time that the oval shape on the scoreboard happened to be the football possession sign. I did not know this. He really just thought it was an oval? Like he was in math class. But then the Brother Ice Crusaders did a late rally, but there was still like eight minutes on the clock, and they made it 17 to 14. At this point in time, I asked the most important question to Robert Smith of why there was a man just running across the field in a striped shirt. He then told me that was the referee. Yes, yes, yes it is. But then, the Brother Ice Crusaders, after taking a 17 to 14 lead, let a drive go down the field for a score for the St. Rita Pumente. And, and through pass interference, got to the one yard line. That did not happen yet. It did not. Okay, it was 21 to 17, St. Rita Puntangs, on top of the BR Crusaders. But Crusaders and their quarterback, Joe Montana, or that dude, number 12, and Montez Walker, led a nice 
come back. They got to the 11-yard line on defensive pass interference, and everything was so exhilarating. But then the quarterback of the Brother Rice football team, I feel bad for that poor kid. He threw an interception, got picked off in the end zone. But, you know, me being in the game, I was hoping, yeah, touchdown all the way, BR, BR. But I did not know it was picked off. So as soon as it reached the end zone, somebody caught it. I yelled, yeah! We and then had to leave the game due to a rioting crowd. And death threats. And I believe a couple shotties were cocked, locked, and loaded. Now, to uh, capitalize and talk about this event, we bring in Matez Walker. Yeah! The greatest football player in Brother Rice history. Take a seat, Matez. Take a seat. Yeah. Oh, sorry. There is no sorry. seat. Yeah. You know what? I'll just take it off yeah, my... I can stand. I can stand. It's nice. No, you are Matez Walker. You need to sit down, my friend. Take a seat. Okay. Yeah. Now tell us what happened at this game. What, this what was going on? I am, I am thank you. Oh, thank you again. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. So Let's man, see. what happened at the point of the be. game? You caught the ball and it looked like you were gone. You got you got hit. You fumbled that ball, thank but you, it sir. looked like you were covered. And you know how I knew I was covered? Cause before this, I'll let you hold my balls. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, he likes the ball. It really isn't that. Really no, it is. No, no it's not. Hey, don't throw those. I need those back. I'm yeah. supposed to generate kids. It's not like you have a wife or a girlfriend anyways. Not gonna use them. Yeah, but then you were covering the ball, and I knew you could cover the ball because I yelled out before anybody else knew, Crusade the ball! And I did motions with my hands that to everybody else looked like I was tickling some testicles, but to me it meant Pickles. possession of the ball. So, yeah, and, well, man, were you, were you upset about the loss? I was, actually, but then again. And what are your feelings now towards the Moose Stangs? Fucking targets. That's all I can say. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we we had a... Uh, you guys played a nice game. And uh, we hope you come strong in the, the next game. Okay. Which I will not be attending because I almost killed my wife and kids and family because we lost the game and you got me so hyped up. But uh, nice to have you on the show. And if you lose the game again, I'll drown you in shallow pot. Yes, yes. Do you guys want this back? Uh, yes, we do. We want that back. Okay. We only have one prop set. Yeah, that's for somebody who scored a touchdown, Martez. He scored many. This is yours. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, folks. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna toss around the old pig buff. Pig skin! Toss it, Robert. Oh! Seriously, Robert. <laughs> Come on, Robert! Oh! Got it! I'm going! Touchdown! Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I will be making the final sign off today due to my partner has a broken clavicle bone. Yeah! I'm coming, Drabby! Yeah! What the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs>